Hello everyone, welcome to VLSI Point. So guys, in today's video, we will talk about behavioral modeling. So Verilog provides the ability to describe the design functionality in an algorithmic manner. In other words, the designer describes the behavior of the circuit. So the behavioral modeling represents the circuit at a very high level of abstraction. Behavioral Verilog constructs are very similar to C language constructs in many ways. Verilog is rich in behavioral construct that provides the designer with a great amount of flexibility. So without any delay, let's get started today's video. So first of all, we will see the objective of today's video. So we will start with structured procedure in which we'll study initial and always block, then blocking and non-blocking assignment, some delays in procedural assignment, and then begin end and fork join blocks. After that, we will learn about the conditional and multi-way branching statement. And then finally, we will study looping construct in which we will study different types of loops which are while loop, for loop, repeat and forever loop. So one by one we will understand. One more thing guys, if you have any doubt, so you can post your doubts in the comment section as well as in our telegram group VLSI point. That platform is basically for you guys only, post your doubts, you can just make a very productive a good discussion on that platform so use that platform wisely share with your friends tell them to join that telegram group and if you will find these videos useful if really these videos are helping to you then share these videos as much as possible and subscribe the channel so start with structured procedure so Verilog supports two structured procedure statement, always and initial. So all behavioral statements are written inside these blocks. These block runs in parallel manner, mean to say these blocks are nothing but concurrent in nature and their activity starts at zero simulation time. One more thing, these blocks cannot be nested mean to say nesting is not allowed inside one always block can there cannot be any other always block also inside one initial statement there cannot be any another initial statement so start with initial statement so this initial statement is once executable mean to say it will execute it one time only and the execution starts at zero simulation time this execution stops when the last statement is executed. In case of multiple initial statement, parallel execution is there. Mean to say, all initial statement will be executed parallelly. And if there are multiple statement inside an initial block, in that condition, we need to use begin end state. So here you can see in this example, I have written module stimulus then i have defined some variables after that i have used multiple initial blocks inside this very log code so in first initial block since only one statement is there so no need to use any begin end statement but in second initial block i have defined multiple statement so in this condition we need to use this begin end block also Similarly, in third initial block also, I have used this begin end because multiple statements are there. And finally, in this initial statement, only one statement is defined, so no need to use begin end. So in this manner, you can use initial block in your very log code. And here is the simulation result, so you can check. Now, we will see the always statement. So this always statement repeats continuously throughout the simulation time duration. Since the initial block is concurrent in nature, this always statement is also starts at zero simulation time. And in case of multiple always blocks, parallel execution is there. Mean to say if there are multiple always block, so all the always block will be executed parallelly. And there can be a deadlock condition also if there is no control for the simulation time. So we need to use this always statement wisely. We need to give some condition. We need to give some sensitivity list. 
so here is the example how you can use this always statement in your Verilog code so here I have used both initial and always block in the Verilog code so simply I have written always and then has 10 clock equals to negation of clock since here I haven't defined any particular condition for this always so this clock will be negated after all 10 time units until this dollar finish will occur so in this manner we can use this always block in our Verilog code now we will start the procedural assignment so procedural assignments update value of reg integer real or time variables mean to say once the variable values are updated it will not be changed until and unless another procedural assignment updates the variable with different value also these procedural assignment are different than the continuous assignment so there are mainly two types of procedural assignment blocking assignment and non-blocking assignment so blocking assignment is represented by the sign equals to these statements are executed sequentially mean to say the statements will be executed in the order they are specified one statement blocks the execution of another statement until it is executed mean to say the next statement will be executed if the previous statement will be executed completely then only the next execution will happen also in case of blocking assignment delays value will be added and the reason is the execution ha happens in the given order mean to say in whatever order we have defined this statement in that order only the execution happens so here the delays value will be added also blocking assignment can be used in both procedural and continuous assignment so here you can see the example inside this initial I have used this begin end and then multiple statements are defined here so here I have used the blocking assignment x y z I am assigning some value then to count variable I am assigning zero value then this reg a reg b value and then after some time delay I am assigning the value so in this manner you can use the blocking assignment now coming to the non blocking assignment so it is represented by sign less than equal to these statements are executed concurrently mean to say the right hand sides are evaluated first and then it is specified assignments are scheduled these non-blocking assignment can't be used in continuous assignment statement or in a net declaration here you can see the example inside this initial block I have used this begin end and then multiple statements are written here I have used both blocking and non-blocking assignment but it is always recommended not to mix these blocking and non-blocking assignment always try to use one assignment at a time so now we will talk about delays in procedural assignment so guys in data flow modeling video I have talked about the delay values but that delay values are specific for the continuous assignment and now I am going to talk about the delays in procedural assignment so don't mix these two types of delays and don't get confused so for procedural assignment two types of delays are there regular delay and intra assignment delay so starting with the regular delay so if delay value is specified then at that time the entire statement is executed and assigned to the left hand side mean to say this is the delay before the right hand side variable is evaluated and assigned to the left hand side so the entire operation will be delayed in case of regular delay so here you can see the example here in this initial block I have written x equals to 0 without any time delay and then has 10 y equals to 1 so here this one value will be assigned to variable y after this 10 time units delay so this is the meaning of the regular delay also in this line you can see here I have written hash y x equals to x plus 1 so this x plus 1 value will be assigned to this x variable after y time units delay so I hope this regular delay is now clear to you now we can see this intra assignment delay so intra assignment delay is nothing but the right hand side of the equation is evaluated at current time 
but the value is assigned to the left hand side variable after the delay time. This intra assignment delay can be used in both blocking and non blocking assignment. So here in this example you can see in this line y equals to hash five x plus z. So this x plus z value will be evaluated at current simulation time which is nothing but zero time. And this x plus z value will be assigned to the left hand side variable y after 10 time units. So this is the meaning of intra assignment delay. I hope it is clear to you. Now we can see the block statement. So two types of block statements are there sequence block and parallel block. Sequence block are nothing but begin end block which is used to group multiple statements. These statements are executed in order they are mentioned means in whatever order we have written the statements in that order only the simulation will be happen and the delay is treated relative to the simulation time and the previous statement. However, in case of fork join, it is used to group multiple statements, but the statements are executed in concurrent manner. And here the delay is treated relative to the simulation time of the entering the block. Mean to say at what time we are entering to the block, that value will be considered for the delay. So here you can see the example for the sequence block. So here I have used begin end inside this initial block and the blocking assignment I have used this is without any delay time. In this initial block you can see I have given some delay time. So this x equals to 1 tick b0 this 0 value will be assigned to x variable at 0 time units then hash 5 y equals to 1 tick b1 so this one value will be assigned to variable y after 5 time units then hash 10 z equals to x comma y. Now since we have used this begin end so the delay values will be added. So this execution will be happened at 5 time units. This simulation will be happened at 5 plus 10 that is at 15 time units and this simulation will be happened at 5 plus 10 plus 20 that is at 35 time units. So this is the meaning of the sequence block begin end. Now you can see the parallel block that is fork join. So inside that fork join statements will be executed concurrently. Mean to say here the delay values will not be added. So the first statement will be executed at zero time unit. This statement will be executed at five time units. This line will be executed at 10 time units and finally this line will be executed at 20 time units. So here you can see inside this fork join the delay values will not be added. It is with respect to the simulation time when we are entering to the block. Now we will see the conditional statement if else. So here the keyword if else are used. It is the decision maker statement and if we are using multiple statement inside this if else statement then we need to enclose it with begin end block. Also we can use the nested if else if statement. So here we can see the syntax. So basically we have three different types. In type 1 we are only using this if. So if and then the expression. If the given expression is true then the statement will be executed. In type 2 we are using both if and else. If then the given expression if this expression is true then this statement will be executed otherwise the given statement will be executed. This is the if else and then we can use the nested if else if which is nothing but if and then the given expression if this expression is true then this statement will be executed else if. If the next expression is true, then the next statement will be executed, else if. If this expression is true, then this expression will be executed. And finally, else default statement. If all these expression are not true, then finally this else value, that is this default statement will be executed. So this is the meaning of if else conditional statement. Now we will talk about the multi-way branching, that is case statement. So Sometimes we cannot use this if else statement for our Verilog code. So that time we can prefer the case statement. And if there are multiple statements then we need to use the begin end block. So here you can see the syntax. I have written case and then the given expression. The expression on which we are applying the case statement. 
then we have to write the different different condition of this expression first condition second third and fourth accordingly whatever statement we want to execute we have to write that at last we have to write the default expression this is the default statement if all these expressions are not true then this default value that is this default statement will be executed and then end case so in this manner we can use this case statement in our very log code and now we will talk about the last topic of today's video which is looping construct so there are four types of looping statement in very log for loop while loop repeat and forever so these looping constructs are very similar to the c programming language these looping statements are used inside an initial or always block and these looping statements can have the delay values as well so one by one we will understand so starting from while loop so in the while loop the syntax is while and then in parenthesis we have to write the expression so the meaning of while loop is that the while statement executes until the while expression is false and multiple statements are grouped in begin end this while loop is non synthesizable in nature so here in this example you can see i have written initial then in begin end first of all i am assigning the zero to the count variable and then while and the expression is count is less than 128 after that the statements are written since multiple statements are there so i have used the begin end block so the meaning of this while loop is that the given statements will be executed until this expression becomes false till then the statements will be executed so this is about the while loop now we will talk about the for loop so generally this for loop consists three parts initialization termination and then increment or decrement This for loop provides a more compact loop structure than while loop. So here in the syntax you can see for and then first of all the initialization then termination and then increment or decrement. So here I am incrementing the value with 1 and then I have written the statement. So this is about the for loop. Now we will see the repeat loop. So this repeat loop it rates for a fixed number of times and there will not be any expression required for this loop repeat loop must contain a number and this number is equal to how many number of times we want to repeat the given expression this is the meaning of repeat loop so here in syntax you can see i have written initial inside this begin end block i have written clock equals to 0 and then repeat 128 and then i have written the statements inside this begin end block so the meaning of this repeat block is that this repeat loop will be executed 128 times and then it will be ended so this is the repeat loop and then the forever loop so forever loop mean to say it executes forever until dollar finish or disable statement is encountered forever loop also does not require any expression so here you can see the syntax inside this initial block i have written begin end and then clock equals to 1 tick b0 and then forever has 10 clock equals to negation of clock so forever this clock value will be negated after 10 time units until and unless any dollar finish or disable statement will be encountered so this is the meaning of forever loop So today's topic is now completed and we will see some examples so that today's video will be more clear to you. So the first example is 4 cross 1 multiplexer. So here I have used the behavioral modeling to write the Verilog code for 4 cross 1 mux and I have used the case statement. So here you can see I have written module then module name and then input and output ports then the port declaration after that i have written this always statement so always at and then this is the sensitivity list so here we have different ways to write the sensitivity list either we can write in this manner s1 or s0 or i0 or it can be comma separated as well mean to say we can write it as s1 comma s0 comma i0 comma i1 in this manner or simply you can use one asterisk sign here so by default it will consider all these variables so we have different different ways to write this so inside this initial always block 
in begin end i have written the case statement so case and then s1 comma s0 so in these two variables i am applying the case statement so the two bit values could be 0 0 0 1 1 0 or 1 1 on different different condition different different statements will be executed by default i have given the value out equals to one tick bx mean to say if the value of s1 s0 is 0 0 then i0 will be assigned to out in case of 0 1 i1 value will be assigned to out in case of 1 0 this out i2 value will be assigned to out and in case of 1 1 this i3 value will be assigned to out and by default if all these conditions are not true then the unknown value will be assigned to out then end case end and end module so in this manner you can write the Verilog code for 4 cross 1 multiplexer by using behavioral modeling another example here i have written the Verilog code for 4 bit counter so here you can see i have written module then module name input output ports then the port declaration after that always at pause edge clear or negage clock now here the meaning is these clear and clock signals are not synchronized if i am writing only always at pause edge clear or always at negage clock at that time these two signals are synchronized so here inside this begin end block i have written if clear so if this clear signal is high then the zero value will be assigned to q else q plus 1 modulo 16 will be assigned to q now here i have used this modulo 16 because it is 4 bit counter so it will count from 0 to 15 and after 15 it will again reach to 0 so that's why here we have used this module 16 modulo 16 operation end and then end module so in this manner you can write the Verilog code for 4 bit counter so guys i hope today's video is clear to you if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment box or now you are also having another option you can post your doubts in our telegram group vlsi point you can discuss your doubt you can give your feedback your ideas if these videos are useful to you then share with your friends your colleagues as much as possible and subscribe the channel so we will meet on next video till then goodbye take care